Okay, let's take a look at this, another kit. So this is a level four. Apparently this is a cracking kit. Okay, this is a, a Revel Junkers JU88A1. Okay, in the markings of the same unit as the first German bomber to be shot down by an aircraft fire by the British during the Second World War. And the first German aircraft to be brought down on British soil. The particular aircraft which I'm going to build and which was the first one shot down which was uh, downed by the gunners on H6 Risa Lodge Battery on the island of Hoy in Orkney. This was where my grandfather was later. I've been to the crash site which is at Peggleburn. There was one survivor. Um, this went bang and there was nothing left. I mean... <laughs> bits were scattered over a very large area anyway we're going to have a look inside in a second just have a look on the back of the box yeah, see what we might expect yeah that's looking pretty decent actually blimey there is loads so there's two smaller packets bits and bobs right wing stores and engine and that and stuff like that and a big packet um fuse lines and wings this is this is going to be comprehensive but that's a lot smaller than i expected you know i thought the ju88 would be a lot a lot larger but no this is not a big aircraft that's actually quite good i'm quite pleased about that yeah that's good now here we go we've got full color instructions that's excellent because I don't think I've ever had full color instructions before. Here we go. Here's the here's the decal sheet. Wow, that's comprehensive. I am going to have to put my glasses on for this. <laughs> put glasses on for a decal sheet. Mental. So safety things. Right. Let's have a quick flick through here. Oh, here's all your colors that we need as well. Oh, that's handy Not happy right okay wow look at that look at that that's pretty decent look at that Ooh, ho, 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 ho. that looks complex wow i don't have the skill the eyesight or the, the um steady hands to bring that cockpit out into uh, what it deserves i wouldn't imagine that bit fortunately is a decal, but um, never mind, you wouldn't see that anyway because it's going to be flying. Wow, this looks like a comprehensive kit. It's going to take me quite a bit of time to cut out, to build, to paint. That looks decent, that looks a really good kit. This is a modern kit. This is stuff that I've never done, that I'm not used to. My last kit that I bought was a Hasegawa back in the early 2000s. So yeah, what's this? 3KG51. It's nice to have the colour um, painting guide actually. 3KG51 as well. 1KG30. This is good. It's going to going to indicate what I need to know for the colours the painting the particular aircraft I'm going for on KG30 look at that so yeah here we go that is going to be a nice kit so yeah and this cost me under 20 quid I think it was 18.95 so I'm really pleased with that so this is a mass of plastic here there's loads so let's start with the transparencies nice and fine thin plastic not at all what i remember from being a child modeler okay that's good they're crisp and clear the moldings that's nice it's gonna be a lot of painting and fiddling and fanning around with that to be honest though so i'm asking let's have a look this is one bag so this is nice crisp 
yeah nicely nicely molded um prop and engine parts a little bit basic i mean the exhaust stacks don't look amazing but you know those engine cowlings and that do this is this is nice those wheels look really good yeah press to that all these bits and pieces so bombs oh god i could put individual fins on the bombs seriously pain in the ass isn't it right so this is another bag the same by the look of it so this is the other side these are jumo engines from memory i might be wrong so on to the main bag yeah, look, there's lots of detail here so you're gonna make yourself wow well i've got no hope of picking all that out colorizing it wasted on me but um wouldn't be able to see it anyway so no big deal there we go so we've got part of the forward fuse large and cockpit part of the engines the tail planes again nice and crisp plenty of detail on it some more what is this? decent stuff the chair looks good as well when you compare that to the hudson i'm building at the moment you can see <laughs> <laughs> you can see there's like 60 years difference in it um is it 60 yeah 60 years difference wow right look at this this is this is, this is a really good looking kit actually i'm sorry i'm surprised the fuse large and the wings are as small as they are i mean this is not a lot bigger than a normal single seat fighter then which i was i was um not expecting yeah so that's what's in the box guys okay the paints i'm going back to that okay so there's actually one and a half pages misled you when i went through the colors or the numbers of the colors so these are different these are revels ones they're not the humble colors so i've looked on a conversion kit and then gone against mine so number 40 there isn't a humble color 39 are in humble color 49 there isn't a humble color five there is 34 that's a white mat i haven't got that i've got a gloss one there's a light olive mat there which i haven't got there's a dusty gray mat there's a red mat carmine red there's anthracite mat this i've got 101 that's a mid green i've got that there's a black silk mat aluminium metallic i've got that so that's on two colors i've got out look at that 43 rust mat leather brown mat there's there's no color for that this one's a mix of two colors there's one humble but not two of them blue mat i don't have i've got the yellow so it's one two three colors that i've got so <sighs> how important are those colors well there we go see that's the thing i've looked here onto the paintings charts and there's more colors so rlm 70 71 65 the closest i've found the references for the humbles are 91 117 and 65 of these 65 i've got wow awesome 117 us light green i don't have and 65 sorry we've done that one 91 black green i don't have so back to the model shop so for 91 and a 117 but they're going to be my main two colors so this is good 91 and 117 hopefully they've got them all right so I'm going to put that back in the box for now because this is not going to be built for a little while. Um, so there we go. We've had a good look in the box, good unboxing. Now there's one thing I haven't mentioned, which to me it's an annoyance, quite a major one. Um, see, I'm a historian. Okay, so to me, I'm building a representation of a Second World War German aircraft operated by the Luftwaffe that had the Third Reich as a government that were the Nazis. There's no swastika in this. There's no swastika in this box. 
okay no swastika on the decals so you know rebels german company i can understand that you know bands this and the other but come on this is a historical kit this is this is historically inaccurate no matter how good you, you make the details and plastic and that i've got to go out and buy swastikas at extra cost now i'm not particularly fussed about swastikas you know except for the fact that that's the only way my aircraft is going to look historically accurate and correct not an rc don't care don't care for swastikas you know um so it's a bit more galling that i've got to go and spend a few quid buying buying the nazi symbols anyway it's got to look right in it same as i've got to buy the different letters